So once we open up Thunderbird 15, the biggest thing anyone would realize is that the, the tabs are rounded now. They used to be a rectangle shape like in Firefox, and now they're rounded to resemble Chrome a little more and just overall make the user interface smoother. Second thing is definitely the smoother buttons and the uh, animations when you put your mouse cursor over them. Uh, and if you're observing my mouse, you see that there's a chat chat button and that's the by far newest feature. So I click chat and here's the chat interface right here. So on the left bar you can see the conversations, my uh, conversations that I'm in currently, my online contacts and my offline contacts. And then over here I can add a contact to my any accounts that are enabled. Right now I only have Gmail enabled. I can join a chat, a room and you know server and then I can set myself to busy or unavailable available and then of course the custom status message and the button to the right of it is a show accounts button where you can pretty much manage your accounts and right now I have my Gmail connected and I can go ahead and click on new account if I wanted to to add Facebook IRC Twitter and XMPP one thing I don't understand is why they would want a Twitter account. I've never really Twitter chatted with anyone. But that's in another video. So this is pretty much the biggest feature, the new chat interface. And that is probably going to stay like this. Uh, like, like I said, Mozilla is no longer developing Thunderbird. And so this is probably going to be the last major change to Thunderbird. As more people are using Outlook and Gmail. So, uh, the one thing I didn't like is if I wanted to double click a message to view it in a different tab, uh, let's say it's a gameplay video, right? And so I have, you know, a nice uh, new tab, uh, I can tag this, I can get mail, I can write, I can reply forward, all the usual stuff. I have my font and my, my uh, subject and everything. And the good thing about Gmail that isn't in Thunderbird is you can play the video from right in the email and in Outlook.com. But the thing I was really talking about is if you want to show images, like all the time of any con of any email uh, person you get your emails from, you have to add them as a contact. So if a, a random dude emails me pictures, but I know this dude, but I don't want him in my contacts, every time I open an email, I have to click on the, you know, show images all the time, and then I would have to add him as a contact, which I don't want to do. Uh, but the thing I didn't like at all is that this is the tab, I can see the tab outline. And then my inbox, I can't see the tab outline unless I put my cursor over it. This looks just abnormal to me. I, I, I don't like it. it. It seems very rubbish, you know? I mean, I can click it, and then I can't see this. I don't like it. It's very... I, I don't like it. And that's probably one of the only disadvantages of this new version of Thunderbird that wasn't there in the previous versions. Uh, other than that, this is a pretty solid update, guys. Uh, 15. Pretty, pretty solid update. Uh... It's definitely worth the update if you're, for some reason, not wanting to update. Um, but for you people that are still deciding between using a web client or a web service like Gmail and to actually typing in Gmail, I will be doing another video on that very soon, so be sure to stay tuned. Uh, so pretty much that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Uh, it was a Thunderbird 15 uh, review and new features. Uh, so if you if you enjoy this video, give it a like. Uh, any questions, concerns, confessions in the comment section, and uh, if you want more of these videos, be sure to subscribe. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything like this. Uh, I'm not gonna give you a cookie. <laughs> but if you enjoy these videos and you want more, be sure to subscribe. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Peace.